Colonel, I want some background information on Emma Emmerich. I've got it right here, direct from the National Security Agency's personnel files. Apparently, she was involved in some sort of high-level project, but there's no details on that. Her record shows that she resigned from the agency two years ago. Emma Emmerich, full name Emma Emmerich Danziger. Members of her family call her E.E. E. After divorcing Hal Emmerich's father, her mother took Emma to England and raised her there. Danziger is her mother's maiden name, but she prefers Emmerich. After returning home to England, her mother married Robinson, a businessman. The following details are from a report filed with the NSA when she joined the agency. Just before graduating from high school, Emma injured Robinson in self-defense during an alleged assault on her person. As a result of this incident, she followed in the footsteps of her stepbrother, Hal Emmerich, and left home to enroll in Oxford. It is believed that at this particular point in her life, she was extremely angered by the fact that her brother failed to protect her. Consequently, she lost all family connections and is very resentful. She seems to believe that her brother is to blame for everything. While attending Oxford, she was noted for her success in a deciphering event sponsored by British GCHQ. They may not be blood related, but she sure sounds like Otacon's sister. There's more. Bryden, do you recall a certain situation that's more or less become a legend among hackers? To refresh your memory, at the time, just about all of our nation's communications and information resources were concentrated at NSA in Fort Meade. In fact, NSA's basement facility operated round the clock to amass data obtained not only from public communications, but everything from satellite to wiretap operations as well. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that whoever controlled the NSA facility could move the world. On January 24th, in the year 2000, the facility suffered a total system shutdown for a 73-hour period. Did they ever figure out the cause? It's believed that a small group within the government had arranged the incident with the assistance of a notorious group of crackers. The result was a full review of NSA safety measures, which in turn led to the decision to shift the data gathering operations to an isolated location that would be safe from physical attack as well as cyber terrorism. And where might that be? My security clearance couldn't get me that information, but I did find out that one of the key members of the hacker group was none other than Emma Emmerich. Although she started off as a specialist in artificial intelligence and complex logic, Emma is now regarded as a computer genius. That would make her a prime candidate for recruitment in the intelligence community, wouldn't it? And knowing most of the intelligence agencies, I doubt fair play was a major concern in their recruiting efforts. Your assumption's correct. The government played on her weakness, her strong hate for Hal Emmerich, the brother who left her when she was six years old. She hates him that much? When she was six years old, Emma and her father were involved in a pool accident. She survived, but her father drowned. What did the police have to say about that? The report states it was an accidental death. Isn't that about the time that Otacon left his home and family? Exactly. But I don't have any idea why he chose to do so. Does Emma blame Otacon for her father's death? I don't think so. Her hate seems to stem from the fact that she believes Otacon abandoned her. You see, although the two weren't directly related, they were said to be very close. It's rumored that sibling rivalry was what launched her career as a hacker. Four years ago, the government leaked her the details of the Shadow Moses incident. In doing so, they were able to recruit her for the NSA. I also have little doubt that they also used the NSA hacking affair as a means to convince her to cooperate. You think that her hate drove her to frame Snake and Otacon? That, I don't know.